Hi, Gary Stearman. My pleasure to join you once again for a Prophecy Watchers update. With me, Bob Ulrich. We're going to do something a little uh, unusual today. Bob and I are going to reminisce about our recent prophecy conference, the Rocky Mountain International Prophecy Conference, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Bob, it was exciting. I've never seen such a spirit of enthusiasm as we encountered in Colorado Springs. Absolutely. I must have shaken seven or eight hundred hands <laughs> in three or four days. Yeah. And I am not exaggerating. I, I can't ever remember a time where there were people who were so well behaved, um, so jubilant and joyful mm -hmm. about being there. I mean, we've done a few conferences in the past and and they've been great and the people have been great, but this time was really unusual, don't you think? There was an air of excitement. People told me time and time again, we believe the hour is near uh, for the coming of our Lord. And I mean, they really believed that. I, I had, uh, how many conversations did I have? A hundred, 150, 200? Uh, you, you forget after the first hundred people. But it's, there's just this swirl of excitement about the soon coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pre-trib, pre-mill, uh, we're, we're talking ab about uh, experts speaking on a subject that is near and dear to the hearts of a lot of Christians. Well, we're still in the uh, post-conference excitement phase. Yeah, we are. Uh, we're recovering slowly. Uh, this last week has been painful physically. You know, driving big trucks and unloading hundreds of boxes and TV cameras and setups right. and breakdowns. But you know, when you get back and you realize what you've done and what you've accomplished, it's a great feeling. Being there at the conference and seeing how grateful and thankful people are to come to this conference. You know, we had a thousand people at the conference and probably a few more who might have snuck in. But we also had over 6,000 people view this event from all around the world. I'm talking Canada, Australia, mm -hmm. New Zealand, the Congo, the UK, Cyprus, Singapore, South America, I mean, we couldn't even keep track of the list. It was so long. But can you imagine that oh. kind of response? I, it was hard for me to imagine. And by the way, the live streaming video that, that we uh, broadcast this time, HD live stream, it was very, very high quality. And Bob, I've had a, a, a few encounters with people who watched us on HD back here at home who were not able to go to the Prophecy Conference, but, but they all gave me high marks for production. The, the HD videos were just fabulous. Well, live streaming is becoming mainstream now. In fact, to be frank, you couldn't have a successful conference anymore without live streaming. Right. It just offsets so many of the cost. You know, we streamed 41 messages this year, which is probably about 75% of the entire conference. So the people who were able to watch, you know, got to see really almost as good as being there, not as good as being in the front row. But uh, it, was, it was really an amazing event, and technology has really been a wonderful thing. And it's important to note that the live streaming is still available. Uh, you can go to our website today, click on the banner at prophecywatchers.com, sign up for the live streaming, and have 60 days to watch all 41 messages. And I know there's still a lot of people out there who have not heard about the event, mm -hmm. or they've heard about the event, and i got to tell you, it was spectacular. And we had such a just ridiculous response to the speakers and the messages. I mean, these are the leading lights in the world of Bible prophecy, and they just blessed everybody's socks off. They did. And you know, we had, you and I had an opportunity to have long conversations with a lot of the presenters, uh, Randall Price, L.A. Marzulli, uh, Derek Gilbert, many, many others. Every one of them said how much they enjoyed uh, delivering their, uh, their talks, it was the, because the audience was so receptive. And and furthermore, they're all eager to, to uh, join us in, at some future date if the occasion ever arises again. I can't imagine what you're talking about, Gary. <laughs> well, I don't know. What would I be talking about, Bob? You wouldn't be referencing another conference, would you? Would you be uh, uh, favorable to that idea? Well, not only would I be favorable to it, but uh, that process actually is pretty far along. And uh, the only hint I'm going to give you is there's going to be a big announcement on September 19th. That's actually the two-year anniversary of Prophecy Watchers Ministry. And let me just say that uh, for many of you, it's going to be quite a familiar place. Stop me before I spill the beans. Uh, yeah, th that's it, Bob. No more. No <laughs> that's more. it. <clears throat> but I do need to add one more thing. All right. You know, the Marriott Hotel in Colorado Springs, a great location, great place, but we've outgrown it. Uh, we jammed that place so full this year you could hardly move. 
the next event, the next venue, we're going to have room for over 2,000 people. Uh, we've got extra breakout rooms. I mean, we have got a, a fabulous facility that really is going to meet our needs and really meet the needs of the people who literally are going to come from all over the world. Bob, next I want to ask you about this. This is uh, not complete yet, but it's a work in progress. It's going to be a DVD set uh, for, of the complete Rocky Mountain International Prophecy Conference. Uh, Bob uh, is the spark plug behind this, and he's going to tell you all about it. Well, there are actually four of these. This is just one. You've got another one. We've got four. These are being edited right now. There's 78 presentations in this set. 78 presentations, uh, 51 messages, three Q&As, and then 24 one-on-one -on -one interviews that Derek Gilbert has conducted with just about all of the speakers at the conference, which is fabulous that he takes the time to research everyone and to do that, because I think it adds so much when mm -hmm. you can hear the heart of Gary Stearman or Randall Price or L.A. Marzulli and actually see what makes these people go what their motivation in life is. It's a great enhancement. And, and by the way, Derek is an excellent interviewer. He knows how to get to the heart of a matter in a hurry. He's got years of experience in doing that. It's, it's really worthwhile. And even, even most of the people at the conference you know, weren't able to attend any of the interviews that Derek did. So this is a unique set. We're going to have it available probably sometime in early October. Uh, the offer is pretty simple. One forty nine ninety five. It's going to be, I'm guessing, about 36 or 38 DVDs, 78 sessions. And it comes with a very, very special bonus that, uh, to me, has kind of taken on new meaning in the last few days, hasn't it? It has. This is the Tim LaHaye Prophecy Study Bible. and That is some kind of bonus. Uh, Tim LaHaye, what can we say about him? One of the most influential uh, Christians in the modern era. And as we speak... It's just a few days since Tim passed on to his eternal reward uh, on the 25th of July uh, at the age of 90. What a life. Bob, this man encouraged so many Christians with, with his films, with his books, with his study guides. Uh, here we have a popular handbook on the rapture, Tim LaHaye, Thomas Ice, Ed Heinsohn. This is a classic. Tim LaHaye's Charting the End Times. If you haven't read this uh, It'll take a lot of the confusion out of your study of Bible prophecy. But Tim LaHaye had a heart for prophecy like nobody I've ever met. He had a clear, clear mind. Uh, in fact, we were with Tim in uh, San Jacinto with Tom Hughes at the 412 church there. And Tim presented a Sunday night message. And even at 88, 89 years right. old at the time, boy, it was just, it was powerful. It and, was very and the powerful. And people responded. And uh, really wonderful guy. Uh, you know, you have a story about Tim that I know is very emotional. In fact, I, I know it was hard for you to even tell me what happened. But I think it's important that people hear the story and actually not only to know the heart of Tim LaHaye, but to know that God is watching. He's paying attention. He cares about our needs. He knows our needs mm -hmm. and when we need his help, when we need encouragement. And there was a time going back almost two years ago now, mm -hmm. you know, when we first started Prophecy Watchers that we went through some difficult times, uh, through some areas of life that, you know, change is not easy. That's right. Uh, it affected you. It affected me. Um, it was a, a start over, you know, a start over with nothing. And we, right. we asked ourselves, even though we had prayed and prayed and prayed to the Lord, you know, to give us peace about our situation, uh, we had asked ourselves if we did the right thing. And you know, uh, before we, the Lord gave us this wonderful studio that we're now using, uh, we used my, my church for a while uh, as, a, as a headquarters. And we were thinking about maybe making it a permanent headquarters, at least a temporary headquarters. And uh, I happened to be standing, uh, this is about two years ago uh, as we speak, uh, I, I happened to be standing uh, in, in church Everybody had left, gone in various directions. I was standing by the altar of the church contemplating what we were taking on. Bob and I realized this is going to be some kind of feat if we do it correctly. And, and, and can we do it? Will everything fall into place that needs to fall into place? And I was uh, uh, standing by the altar in that church and doing what I've often done, praying. And I, and I began to pray 
and I stopped short. And I, and I said to myself, uh, Lord, I just don't even know what to say. This is literally what happened. And, and I, I couldn't come up with another word. I didn't even know what to pray for. And at that precise moment, my C phone rang. And I, I grabbed it, put it to my ear. It was Tim LaHaye. And he said, Gary, the Lord has told me to call you and pray for you. He said, do you mind if I do that? <laughs> I said, no, not at all. And he proceeded to pray for maybe a minute and a half. And Bob, I didn't record it, but I'll tell you it was one of the most articulate and, and directed prayers I've ever heard. He prayed for blessing of prophecy watchers. And I hung up, and he, by the way, he was on his way to a meeting, and he said, I have to hang up. But he said, I just had to pray with you. And I said, thank you so much, Tim. And you know, he's been such a blessing to, and such an encouragement to Prophecy Watchers. I can't even, I can't even begin to tell you what, what it's meant to us. I know it was an emotional moment. It I was, remember you telling me for the first time, barely able to get the words out, like, Bob, you're not going to believe who just called me. You're not going to believe this story. That's right. And uh, who would think? But you know, God's paying attention. And I'm, I have been grateful and will be eternally grateful for that moment of prayer from Tim LaHaye. And you know what? That was a turning point in our ministry that day. It was. When, when you realize, I mean, we talk about God, you know, but when you have answered prayer like that where something miraculous happens and you realize not only does God know what we need, He knows when we need it. And you needed a word of encouragement that day. And, I did. And, and the Lord used Tim to do that. Now, Let's talk a little bit about Prophecy Watchers and our future here because our ministry is almost two years old. We're growing by leaps and bounds. Uh, we are entering really some, you know, I don't want to call them dangerous waters, but certainly we have taken some risks. Um, we have recently begun to air our program on the World Harvest Satellite, uh, which is also aired on DirecTV. Uh, just recently we've added another airing on a, on a, a name called FETV Television. Now that may not mean anything to you, but FETV means that if you are an AT&T U-verse customer, and there are literally millions and millions and millions of those people throughout the United States who use AT&T for their internet and their cable TV, it's a great bargain from what I hear. That's not a plug, but all those people are now going to be able to watch Prophecy Watchers. You know, those people used to watch us on the Church Channel, mm -hmm. and when the Church Channel merged with Hillsong, uh, we lost all of that coverage on AT&T U-verse. So we are back on AT&T U-verse on a channel called FETV. Uh, in fact, I've, got to, I've even had to write it down here, the times. We're on Wednesday mornings at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. And you can watch that on AT&T U-verse channel 578. Or you can watch it on DISH channel 82. So it gives us access to two new outlets to air the program. You know, we've gone on TV in Denver Colorado Springs, Wyoming, Indianapolis. I mean, we keep adding stations. We keep increasing our television budget. And we're trusting the Lord to provide, and, and we're trusting you to continue to support the work here, continue to help us. And we've got big plans for the future. We have studio plans. We have uh, plans about some new products and, and, and services that we can bring to you. We have uh, plans for... Uh, some productions, video productions, that I think you're really going to enjoy. In, in, in short, Bob, we have not quit planning. We have not quit expanding. No, we, we have another six or eight guests already scheduled to come to the ministry here and do some uh, sensational television with us. Some of them are really on really provocative, exciting subjects. There is one thing I, I want to talk to you about. This is a little Roku streaming stick. You can actually go on Amazon or go to Walmart and buy one of these for I don't know, $35, $40 maybe. It's a USB stick that plugs into just a port in the side of your television. And as long as you have wireless internet, this will pick up 2,500 television channels, private television channels. Well, one of them is Prophecy Watchers. Another one is Tom Horn's uh, Skywatch TV. Mm -hmm. Another one is L.A. Marzulli's new, new uh, television program. Billy Crone just set up a brand new uh, channel for this. So... You buy the stick and you pay nothing else. So you spend $35 for the rest of your life, at least right now it works that way, and you get 2,500 programs aired into your home just as long as you have internet on your television, not on your computer. 
So you can buy something inexpensive like this. There's another Roku box we have. In fact, a couple of generous people donated about 35 of these boxes to our ministry. Mm -hmm. We put up some ads on Facebook. We gave them all away for free uh, just to people who couldn't watch us on TV and really loved our ministry. And so if you haven't gotten your Roku box yet, believe it or not, people keep sending these to us and we keep distributing them. So, and you've been watching the real Bob Ulrich, always planning, always got something in the hopper, some new uh, <laughs> extension, uh, some new outreach, and, uh, and that's why he's here. And, and Bob, our time is up, but I, I know you would join me uh, in wishing uh, the LaHaye family, uh, Beverly LaHaye, all of his associates out in California, uh, our best wishes, our sympathies. Uh, we will miss Tim's presence. Uh, but you know what? He's in a better place. He's where he always wanted to be. Tim's met Jesus. Imagine that. Imagine that. Yeah. Our day is coming. Soon. You know, it's not going to be long, I think, until we are right up there with Tim. And uh, that's what we're uh, watching for. And that's what we're teaching when we teach Bible prophecy. Uh, in fact, that's why we call ourselves Prophecy Watchers. So we're watching. <laughs> I hope you are. Thanks for joining us on Prophecy Watchers. You can find us on the web at prophecywatchers.com where you can sign up for our free email newsletter or follow us at facebook.com slash prophecywatchers. In the meantime, keep watching everybody and we'll see you soon.